DeFi is a term for the next generation of digital financial services and products that is being built on and enabled by blockchain technology. So blockchain technology is the overall, uh, is the overall innovation behind Bitcoin. And Bitcoin, you could think of as the largest use case of blockchain technology today. Blockchains have gotten much more sophisticated and they enable much more complex financial use cases um, and applications. These new use cases are called dApps, decentralized applications. When you think about DeFi apps, it's greater than the parts, right? It's not just a collection of these dApps, it's an interconnected ecosystem. And the goal of DeFi is to create a new financial system that is fully digital native from the beginning. It's gonna be faster, it's gonna be interoperable, it's gonna be more transparent, uh, it's gonna be global from day one. Anyone around the world can use these financial products and service, services, accessible to anyone with an internet connection. So a good way to imagine the long-term impact of DeFi is to think about it in uh, comparison to the internet in the 80s and 90s when it was getting started. The people who used the internet in the very beginning, they were people who were diehard technologists, right? Because the internet was very difficult to use. There were all these chat rooms, there were bugs. Over time though, what you saw was the internet is that these early adopters, they seed it, they, they're the first users, they, they invest in these protocols with their dollars, and they attract VCs and investors like me who pour more investment money in, and we finance new uh, technologies, we finance new, better user interfaces that make it more uh, palatable for the average American, the average user. And eventually, it's just like the internet. There's gonna be so many people online that, and the experience of the internet will become even better and better than non-internet experiences for certain use cases, right? Like for e-commerce versus retail, that the mainstream starts to adopt it. Everyone starts adopting it. You know, the front end of our financial system is beautiful and it's all on smartphones and it's all on apps and it's digital native. You go on Robinhood, you go on Schwab or E-Trade, but the back end is very clunky. The back end hasn't changed in decades or if not longer. It's basically just switch operators, you know, like uh, running things uh, over phone and, and uh, very old technology systems. This I think is one of many things that DeFi will and, and blockchain technology will solve you won't have to have a your backend provider call you on the phone if you're Robinhood and tell you that this is a problem. They'll know that it's a problem days or weeks in advance. And so even with us in America, we're seeing the problems and the little cracks that, that, that can be quite big with what happens when you have a fast digital native front end, but a very slow, creaky, uh, not digital native backend.